going on everybody? It's Cole Hastings. If you're new to my channel, it's about veganism, self-help, and vlogs. So consider subscribing if that sounds good to you and hitting the bell so you don't miss a video. So finally, we're doing another vegan fitness video. And today I'm just gonna show you some super easy meals. This isn't really gonna be a full day of eating because I've already eaten today. I'm gonna show you some super easy meals that you can make if you're trying to gain muscle as a vegan, but you wanna spend less time in the kitchen because I know with vegan foods, they're less calorically dense. You got to eat more throughout the day. So you got to be constantly cooking sometimes if you're not making foods that are already pretty much prepared for you and don't take a long time to prepare. So I want to give those types of foods and those types of meals to you today. And I will be showing you guys all the measurements and macros for the meals. So let's get into the first simple meal that I want to show you guys. And this meal is going to require just four ingredients and one optional fifth ingredient if you're really trying to get some more flavor in. We're just going to be using about a serving and a half of toast you'll see how I chop this up and cook it we're gonna be using a cup of broccoli broccoli is honestly kind of old but it's st it's still good I'm not gonna get sick from it probably shouldn't have shared that information anyway I'm going to also be having about a cup and a half of brown rice then we're gonna be using two tablespoons of tahini I'm not gonna make any type of tahini sauce today because we're gonna keep it simple and then that optional fifth ingredient is going to be some type of like sriracha sauce so I have this sriracha that my mom found at Whole Foods. It's like made out of vegetables and it's amazing if you guys can find it at Whole Foods, go check it out. But if you can't, just get sriracha. Probably should have done this off camera, but we're gonna take the tofu here and I'm just gonna drain it. I have extra firm. Great thing about extra firm is you don't have to drain too much water out of it and it also has the most protein in it. Unless you can find super firm tofu, which is at like Trader Joe's and stuff. I don't know where else they sell it. And I do want a little more dryness with this tofu so it cooks quicker. So we're just gonna wrap it in some paper towel. It's funny that my name is Seasoned Tofu on Instagram and yet I still have yet to invest in a tofu drainer like presser like you can find those online and like do this and like i don't know i'm sorry probably should <sighs> jesus luckily my camera is okay here this damn tripod man it's just so old but here's what we're doing with the tofu we're gonna cut it like this into maybe like half an inch honestly i don't know how to like guesstimate something like a ruler so it could be nothing close to half inch but we're going to be using about a serving and a half of these like i said okay that's just about good now the last time i made tofu like this i actually tried to season this on the pan as it was grilling, but I've decided that I'm not gonna be that stupid today. So I'm just gonna do it right here. That's still gonna make a mess, but there's nothing I can do about it. So we are going to be using onion powder. I'm gonna rub each seasoning in like this. Give it a good old fashioned rub because I don't rub myself anymore. A little garlic powder, paprika, give it a nice color, give it some smokiness. Actually, I don't even know if like regular paprika tastes like smoky. And lastly, something you don't see me use too often. This is salt and it has iodine in it. Everybody should be getting some iodine in. If you're vegan, it's very hard to get it in. So salt or like seaweed is the best way to get this. I believe it's good for your thyroid. And also this tofu will have absolutely zero flavor if I don't use some salt. Salt is fine in moderation, especially if you're like only eating whole foods throughout the day. I'm gonna flip these over and do the same thing to the other side. Oh no, it broke. Honestly guys, I got a feeling this is gonna be my best seasoned tofu I've ever created without liquid aminos because if I had like soy sauce or liquid aminos in here, it would undoubtedly be the best, but I don't. But this is a good way to make tofu taste good without liquid aminos. Also guys, forgot to mention, have your brown rice already made because that takes a long time to steam it or cook it in the rice cooker. So yes, these meals are incredibly easy, but if you don't know how to calculate your macros and put your macros perfectly towards your fitness goals, you're not gonna get anywhere even if you do eat the right foods. If you guys want personalized meal and workout plans, they're up on my website. I have a few spots open right now. I've been training tons of people lately and all of them are seeing awesome results. So work with me and I will get you some vegan gains and we'll work together until you're seeing visible results. So go to seasontofu.com slash shop or send me a DM on Instagram and go check them out right now. Actually check them out after this video. All right, so I may have made a mistake. I may have left out an ingredient, but we're gonna also call this one optional. And I'm only adding a quarter tablespoon of olive oil, which is essentially no calories, but I just want a little teeny beanie whip. That actually might be less than a quarter of tablespoon. Uh, 
Yep, quarter tablespoon right there. That's probably accurate. Now we wanna spread this around and this is the only part that kind of takes a bit of time. Realistically, this is only gonna take you like five to 10 minutes to season everything, cut the tofu and put it on here and get it actually cooked. It's pretty much zero complexity with this meal, so don't worry about it. And we're gonna get each side golden crispy. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with this tahini really quick because it is a little bit solid. So what we're gonna do here, like I said, the tahini is not as runny as I want it to be. We're going to take the two tablespoons, and we're going to put them into this bowl, and usually I would mix it with like a bunch of other different stuff, but today we're being lazy, like I said. So all we're gonna do is mix this with a little bit of water just so it gets a little more runny. And then mix that with your spoon. It's not working, somebody help. Okay, psych, we got it. Check it out, nice and runny. I hope you can see that. All right, so I know you guys knew this was gonna be a lazy meal, but I bet you didn't know it was going to be as lazy as throwing the brown rice and broccoli into the same bowl as I mix the tahini in already and just throwing it in the microwave for a couple minutes because I don't wanna use another bowl. That's just more dishes and that sounds really tedious and stupid and we're trying to be lazy. And when all that's said and done, this is what your meal should look like. And all the tahini is at the bottom still because I had to load up the brown rice and broccoli above it. So I'm gonna mix that in after. Just wanted to show you guys what it looks like when it looks decently nice, although I don't feel like any of the meals I'm gonna show you today are gonna to look that great. All right, so before I start to dig into this and show you guys the macro totals, I wanna to reveal some important information as to how each of your vegan bodybuilding meals should look if you want to optimize muscle gain with everything that you eat. So you always wanna have some type of whole grain carb source. So for me, this was brown rice today, but you could also have like a starchy carb source like potatoes in there. You always wanna have some type of vegetable. For me, it was a green vegetable, broccoli, because there's just so many benefits with broccoli as well. You want to have some type of high protein source, tofu obviously this one, you can use like legumes, seitan, tempeh, all of these high protein sources, textured vegetable protein. And then you want to add a little bit of some type of fat source and for me that was tahini and you know what? I just forgot I have to put some sriracha on this. And I guess I'll mention as an added bonus in your meals, put some sort of like sauce, like hot sauce, sriracha, whatever you really like, put it on there just to give it some more flavor because you know these meals when they're lazy they can be a little bland and thumbnail picture thumbnail picture so now the macros will be on screen right now and if this is like too much for you if you're someone who doesn't weigh as much as me you can add like less brown rice less tahini in there just to adjust the calories to how much you feel comfortable eating or how much you think you should eat but again if you don't know how much to eat or what to eat I do offer those personalized meal and workout plans on my website seasontofu.com slash shop so yeah I'm gonna dig into this and then I'm going to get into the next meal with you guys that should be as easy if not easier than this one. Alright, it's a new day actually, so excuse the way I look right now. And why is that bag on your head? Why? Oh, no reason. Except you gave me the ugly! <laughs> just woke up but we're about to have breakfast which isn't really breakfast but this meal is even easier than the last meal and if you are lazy you can make this in only about 10 minutes what we're going to be having is some black beans we're gonna be having some brown rice and we're gonna be wrapping that in three of these whole wheat tortillas feel free to not use whole wheat and just use white flour tortillas it does not matter then I also forgot one thing which is in the fridge I'm gonna be adding some pepper jack shreds from Dime yeah, I only have Daya right now. I know that's like the worst cheese brand for vegans, but whatever. It works. And you know what? It tastes fine. Like everyone's hating on Daya, but it's really not that bad. And then I'm also going to be adding a little bit of this Viracha again because it's just so good. Feel free to use some type of salsa. We're not going to be adding this into the calories because this is basically no calories. So we're going to get the measurements that are required for this for each of these things and put them in the microwave. We want our brown rice and we want our black beans to be nice and hot so there's the brown rice there's the black beans we need and I'm just gonna heat this up in the microwave really quick you could do it another way to make it taste better like maybe put it on the pan but I don't know why you would even do that Let's put this in the microwave now this is a large meal that's for sure I don't even know if all three of these are gonna fit on this pan but we're gonna try to do them all at once we want our tortillas to be nice and heated and I don't know about you guys but I like my tortillas a little bit crispy like if it has a little bit of a crunch in it as long as it's not like literally a tortilla chip like a massive tortilla chip I love 
And it's slightly hard, so we're gonna add the Daiya cheese into this so it melts at the same time that these are cooking. All right, that's good. I'm gonna turn on the stove and just say good luck to me. Let's hope this works. I have never tried this many tortillas on the stove. And then once they're nice and heated, I'm going to turn on the microwave because I don't want the brown rice and black beans to get cold before these get hot. All right, so I got a plate here. Everything is heated up pretty much perfectly. As you can see, these have a little bit of char on them. This is exactly what I wanted. You know, I knew this was gonna happen because I somehow mess up every single time. Look at that. This is like cardboard now. God. Wrapping that one up is gonna be tough. Honestly, wrapping all of them is gonna be tough, but we got the black beans and rice here. Just gonna mix it up a little bit so we get some good distribution. Add a little bit to each. Honestly, I should have made more of each. At least they're gonna be easy to wrap. So there's basically nothing in these. Honestly, these might turn into quesadillas. I just tried to fold this and it just cracked completely. Oh my God. It's a good thing this video is not based on aesthetics today. I'm just gonna leave them like that, <laughs> I mean, good enough. Let's go over to the table, show you guys the macros. So first off, here's what they're looking like. I wasn't able to really wrap them at all. Uh, I haven't just had like a bunch of burritos in what seems like a long time, or whatever you would call these, if you would even call these burritos. Dude, I forgot to add the sriracha again. I took a bite and I'm like, what is missing in this? I feel like there's something missing. All right, there we go. Now let's take a bite. Yum. Two thumbs up. And just so easy to make. So I'm finally going to show you the macros for this meal on screen right now. So yeah, for what you're eating, this is a lot of calories, almost a thousand calories in this meal, which is great because it took zero time and it's going to give you the gains. Now there's no healthy vegetables in this, but we got brown rice, black beans, and whole wheat tortillas, which are some good carbs for first meal of the day when I'm about to work out. That's great. I don't necessarily need like the antioxidants from vegetables. So yeah, we're going to eat this. I'll probably show you guys one more actual meal and then I'll show you snacks that I eat throughout the day in order to hit my macro goals. And all these snacks are going to be pretty decently high in calories, at least for the fact that they're snacks. All right, so we currently got something cooking on the stove for my next actual meal that I'm gonna show you guys. But before I do that, I wanna show you guys a snack that I have not too often, but it is one that is just so easy and it's honestly really good for you and for the amount of protein you get out of this simple meal, it's just the best thing ever. So all you're gonna do is go into your fridge, Take out your sprouted bread, because I know you got some, you probably don't. You can use this with any type of bread, but like I always state in my videos, sprouted bread is the healthiest bread for you, and Silver Hills brand is my absolute favorite. And all I'm gonna be doing is taking a couple slices of bread, putting them in the toaster, and you're gonna see what we're gonna put on it once they're toasted. Yes sir, they are done. Perfectly toasted. And here is that magic ingredient we're putting on top of them, hummus. Now the great part about Wegmans brand hummus is there's three grams of protein instead of two grams of protein per serving so you're getting two extra grams of protein with the amount that I'm using which is about four tablespoons there's just no planet where I can see someone genuinely only using two tablespoons of hummus when they eat it like I have never done that I've always eaten more than one serving size that's just because some serving sizes are just like really messed up like stop you from eating a ton of whatever food it is. Cause it's all a sham, it's a lie. Actually, sometimes it's helpful. And that, oh, ooh, almost dropped my fork on the ground. That is literally it. Nice little snack to have before I get into the next actual meal, which will be coming very soon. Well, I mean, you guys are gonna see it in a second after this. So with this specific brand of hummus and with this specific brand of sprouted bread, which is definitely high in protein, you guys are gonna see the macros on screen for it right now. So yeah, almost 20 grams of protein in just a couple slices of bread and some hummus, which is an amazing snack. Hummus is very good for you. It's not really processed at all and it's just chickpeas. I've been having a lot of beans today and I'm about to have more. That's the hint for the next meal that's coming up that's cooking right now. But this will vary depending on the type of hummus you have and the type of bread you have. So just make sure you account for that when you put it into your macro calculator, which is like either chronometer on your phone or my fitness pal on your phone or laptop. All right, I'm gonna eat this. And then once that's done cooking over there, that secret little thing, we're going to get into the next meal. All right, so the thing I was cooking finally finished cooking. So let's show you this last meal, but it is not the last thing I'm gonna show you guys to eat to make lazy vegan bodybuilding gains. But yeah, let's see this meal first. So this is gonna be a Buddha bowl of some sorts. What I had cooking was these lentils. Lentils are amazing for so many reasons. Apart from the health benefits, they're the highest amount of protein of any legume. So we're gonna have some of those. We're gonna have some hummus in there. If you guys can find these 
big bags of mixed vegetables, frozen vegetables at any like grocery store. This is amazing, they're cheap and you can just heat them up in the microwave super quickly. And then we're also going to be using a little more brown rice because this is like the best carb source I have in my house right now. And then we're going to be having some tahini. And again, you know, this keeps coming up, but I'm gonna keep using it until I'm out of it, the Viracha sauce. Now I already had the brown rice and the lentils made, so I'm gonna assume that you have these things made already. Prep them before you want to be lazy. And then you can just put together meals like this in a matter of a few minutes. So let's actually make this. So if you didn't make your lentils right away like I did, which I'm assuming you didn't because we're trying to be lazy, then you're going to have the lentils, the brown rice, and the mixed vegetables in a bowl and you're going to heat it in the microwave. But like I said, my lentils are already hot, so all I need to do is put brown rice and vegetables into the bowl. There we go. The brown rice and veggies are in there. Let's put this in the microwave. All right, we're all nice and heated up here. I wonder if you guys would still watch me if my voice sounded like that. We got the lentils. Beautiful. Actually, lentils are like the most unappealing looking thing in the world. So much cooking today, such a big mess! God damn it! Hummus, we're just gonna put the hummus in. And then I showed you guys earlier, like the tahini's not that runny, but I'm honestly feeling lazier than lazy right now. So I'm just gonna put the tahini in without even making it runny. Yeah. Oh yeah, bro. Got it now, bro. And lastly, we have the Viracha once again. And yeah, I think that's it. An extremely weak job on my part of trying to put the Sriracha all around it really nice, but what are you gonna do? There's nothing you can do at this point. It's done, it's done, it's the past, okay? But you know, it doesn't, it doesn't look too bad. All right, here we go. Definitely a strange mixture of foods, but I feel like it's gonna taste good. Let me just like mix a little bit of this together and you guys can get my first reaction to this on camera. That is good. That is, that is bomb. And if you have the brown rice and lentils cooked, it literally only takes like five minutes to prepare. Beautiful. So the macros for this are going to be on screen right now. Mm, good little meal here. This is something like I have never made, which is perfect. All right, so next thing I'm gonna show you guys is most likely going to be a snack and it is one of my best kept secrets. You wanna stick around for this. All right, so we got one last thing before I go to bed tonight. And like I said, it is a little bit of a snack. It's something that I bet a lot of you guys don't know has a decent bit of protein in it and it's just great for like a healthy snack. It is popcorn. So I got these yellow popcorn unpopped kernels. Serving size is two tablespoons and two tablespoons provides, I think like 110 calories and four grams of protein, but we're doing two servings. So that is like 220 grams of protein. Protein, calories is what I mean. That'd be crazy if that was protein. <laughs> Eight grams of protein, 220 calories. So all you need for this is a paper bag and then obviously a tablespoon measurer and you just put it in the bag. You got the bag full of it there. And most microwaves have a popcorn setting. First off, make sure this is like folded up nicely or else the popcorn is gonna go everywhere in the microwave. So we close this, press on, we press on the popcorn option here. Now, if you were to do one serving size, then it would be done just by pressing the popcorn button once, but usually at the end, there's like a bunch of unpopped kernels still, even once the microwave is done with the cycle. So I have to like press it again, just to make sure that I'm getting like all the calories. And I don't know about you guys, but do you guys eat like the unpopped kernels at the bottom of the bag? Like some of them are half cooked and they're still chewable. And honestly, they taste so good to me. I'm kind of addicted to the end of them. So let me know if you guys do that same thing so I'm not crazy in the comments. And you can hear starting to pop over there. So the only bad part about pressing the popcorn button more than once is the fact that now like half of it is burned. Oh my God, it's really burnt. Oh, yo, I burnt this more than like I ever had before. All right, it's fine. We're just gonna put the macros on screen for popcorn right now. And yeah, that's how you can be a vegan bodybuilder while eating snacks throughout the day, but still eating healthy and just getting quick meals in that are full of nutrients. So if you enjoyed the video and it educated you, leave a like. It helps push this out to more people who are trying to be a vegan bodybuilder while also being lazy. Thank you for watching till the end. As you guys know, the people who watch till the end, I know, I know you guys are watching this right now because you watch previous videos and you watch till the end. And you know what I always say? I freaking love you guys who watch till the end. So I appreciate you. Hope you do it again and again. If you don't, whatever. But we're going to head out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay beautiful.